All right, guys, what I got here is a custom built TRX-6. And I'll tell you how I built it. There's this girl called uh, Jill on eBay, and she sells all, she just takes TRX-4s apart and sells them piece by piece. And I bought the frame rails from her, and I bought some of the axles from her too. But it's, I got the axles, and I bought a. She also sells the pla all the plastic parts for a Mercedes TRX6. So this is a mix between sport parts, plastic parts, and TRX6 parts. And really, the only TRX6 parts I got on here are are the are the rear links right here. The rear links, these links, and the plastic piece here in the middle, right there where my finger's touching. I don't know the part number of that, but that's the part that hooks all the links from the, to the front and the back. The back is just a is just a sport rear end. Matter of fact, that's the same truck I took apart that. See, I got a, a sport axle in the front. This is just a sport front end. I just took it off and put it on here. And then I got the the sport rear shock hangers and body mount and spacer right here. That's all that is. And I didn't even drill any holes. All the holes were already there. This right here, this part here is nothing but a sport um shock hangers and um body mounts two rear ones so that's how i built it and that was how i was able to get these tall tires on here because it it spread it spread this apart a little bit further than uh, a a mercedes is if you use a mercedes plastic it's like one big piece that goes all the way down you know, and, uh, so I've had this sitting around for about six months. I haven't finished it because I haul crude oil and I've been really, really, really busy. So I just thought I'd get on there. I'm going to put, I'm going to, the rear axles are two speed right now, or I have the locker, the lockers in them. I'm going to take the lockers out. I'm going to put the spool in the rear ends where the, it'll be solid lock like a sport. So it's going to be a sport six by six. I'm not sure on the body yet. I've got a sport uh, transmission in there. And uh, <clears throat> I changed the name of my channel today to uh, Mr. Big Chris because my old one was HX2 620 and nobody understood what it meant. And I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. So HX2, my last name is Haslam. I have a son named Stuart that lives down in Camden, Tennessee. So, uh, it was Haslam times two and 620 was his birthday. And really, I just made the name for him because I wanted him to be excited that I <clears throat> named the channel after me and him. And, but you know, that was a couple of years ago. So now I'm changing, I have changed it to Mr. Big Chris on February 2nd. I'm going to start a 40 day challenge eating beans only for 40 straight days and drinking water so if you would join in on that that would be really good what rc truck driver doesn't need to lose a few pounds come on now you know so i'm into some other stuff too i like a bmx and we have a shoe collection me and my girlfriend charlene we like uh van shoes these are actually her shoes these Converse, I built off of Converse.com and you just build them yourself. You just go through, pick out all the colors, the soles and everything. And, you know, I was able to put her rear name, her rear name, her name on, the, on both of the shoes. They're really cool looking. So, uh, well, I hope you like the uh, TRX-6. If you have any questions, you know, ask me in the comments or whatever. I'm going to go over the whole truck real slow right here. One more time. 
And man, if you could, or girl, if you could find it anywhere in your heart to subscribe to my channel, I would so appreciate it. I am desperately trying to get to a thousand and I appreciate your time.